Come on in, let's show you the studio and answer your questions for this subscriber special. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Juno Sloth. Thank you so much for 700,000 subscribers, 700,000! That is a crazy amount of people and it really is because of you that I can continue doing this day in day out, bringing you educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos. We're going to celebrate with a Q&A, there were over 1,000 questions submitted, many of them overlapped I have selected the most popular whilst giving a bit of a variety questions about me my YouTube intro if I've ever thought about quitting Clash of Clans general advice for other youtubers with some Clash of Clans tips thrown in there as well and I'll even reveal a bit of a studio tour at the end of the video so let's get into it a nice one to start us off AA gaming asks what is the story behind the name judo sloth I have done judo my entire life Life, so that's where that comes from. In terms of the sloth, I lived in America for over a year where I competed in judo and I was at an event where my coach asked me to run to the car, pick something up, two minute job. I got sidetracked. Let's just say I had to de-escalate a situation and I returned two hours later. My coach called me a sloth for the rest of the day. Now that evening, we were all setting up Xbox Live gamer accounts because the new Gears of War game was being released and I needed a gamer tag. So Judo Sloth was born and it's been my gaming name ever since. Are you a black belt in Judo? Yes, I am a second degree black belt in Nidan, although mainly I was interested in the competitiveness of the sport. We have always known you by the name Judo Sloth, but we are eager to know your real name. My real name is Andrew, but you can call me Judo Sloth. I've told you the origin story of my gaming name, and I will tell you why I started YouTube. That's coming up later though. What about your age? I am 32. Yes, 32. Where are you from? What is your favorite troop? You are the best teacher of COC. Congratulations on 700k love from India. Well, thank you. I am from the north of England, just outside of Newcastle. We live quite close to the beach and we really like where we live. My favorite troop is the dragon. Ever since I unlocked that at Town Hall 7, I've really enjoyed using it and it's so cool to see it coming back into the meta at the higher levels as well. What is your accent? As an American, it sounds like somewhere in the UK. I get asked this a lot. So I am from the north of England, that's where my accent is from. However, I did used to live in the US, so that changed things. And through YouTube and casting the Clash of Clans World Championships, I have worked a lot on my pronunciation. So really, my accent is all over the place, but it's from the north of England. How did you get into Clash of Clans and what made you love the game so much? I started Clash of Clans much like a lot of people, I'm sure. Many of my friends played the game, they wanted me to join their clan, but I knew this was a game I would get addicted to and I had my master's degree just around the corner, so I reluctantly did not download the game. As my friends were upgrading their villagers though and I was getting further behind, I cracked, I downloaded it, and here we are eight years later. In terms of what made me love the game, it's a cool game, but I have been able to make friends, even in real life through Clash of Clans, connect with all of you guys, and the social aspect is number one for me. What year did you start playing Clash of Clans? Mark, thank you so much for being a dojo member. I love seeing that yellow belt next to your name. I can go a step further. I started playing Clash of Clans on the 7th of June, 2013. Den, thank you for the congratulations. What is the single best tip for every town hall level? I do have other tips coming up in the video and I'm actually going to give you two here. Firstly, Clash of Clans is a game, so make sure you are always enjoying it. I think people get very stressed and pressured as to what they should upgrade first in order to 
prove themselves to their clan mates in order to get those three stars and ultimately you just want to enjoy the game that would be the first thing i would say but coming at this from a strategical angle you need to learn how to get your troops into the center of the base any town hall level ground attack air attack funneling is the most important thing i'll link you to my video with tips for every town hall level at the end of this one but basically learning how to control the ai of the troops to get them into the middle of the base is the most important thing Silvercord sneaking in two questions. Have you ever thought once you'll be recognized by 700,000 people? No, I never thought when I started YouTube it would get this big, but it's all thanks to you guys. I'm so glad that you enjoy my content and I am proud as to what we have built here on the channel. I've always been someone that puts my all into what I do, tries to be the best person I can be, and that's what I would encourage of you, but 700,000, I mean, that is a big number. What were you doing for a living before YouTube career? I am a physiotherapist, a physical therapist, as it's called in the United States. I guess my title would be a respiratory therapist in the United States because that's the area I specialized in and I still work in the medical field. I do shifts at our local hospital, but I do that on more of an agency basis now because I've been able, thanks to you guys, to make this my career. Why did you start YouTube? I started for a number of reasons. Six years ago, pretty much to the date, is when I started YouTube. I had already made a couple of little tutorial videos that I'd shared with my clanmates personally, and I really enjoyed making them. They found them helpful, so it's something I already had a little bit of a passion for, and I enjoyed watching a lot of the Clash of Clans YouTubers. When I finished my master's degree, the Titan League and Legend League were first being introduced to the game, so I thought what better time to start, document my trophy pushing series, and help some people along the way. And that is where my YouTube journey began. Give us a little insight on you and your family, wife, kids, etc. My wife was actually featured in the Clash of Clans World Championship documentary by Amazon, but I called her after the show. It was my first year casting. I wanted to update her on how it went, and they put it in the documentary. It was really cool. We also have a little boy. He's nearly one year old, and... This is where I can't thank you enough. It was around the time he was born, I made the leap into pretty much full-time content creation. I've been able to support my wife through that and also spend more quality time with him since I'm working from home. So I really cannot thank you guys enough. You've changed my life. How does your wife and rest of the family cope with your gaming passion? That's a tough one. I think all content creators struggle with this to a degree because when you're so passionate about bringing the best possible content, I work a lot of hours. I've tried to structure my day and week on when I record, when I edit, when I respond to you in the comments and social media to try and get a balance, but ultimately balancing content family life, social life, getting all of that structured is very difficult. So it's tough. It's something I am also actively working on because having a healthy work-life balance is very important for your mental health, but it's difficult. But have you ever heard the saying, find a job you love and you will never work a day in your life? It is so true. I highly encourage people to follow their passion and I am so fortunate to do that. Thank you for the support, Evan kind of just answered one of your questions there but in terms of how long it takes me to create a video it really depends on the video itself i would say the lower end of things are normally around four to five hours but my bigger videos they can be upwards of 25 to 30 hours it really just depends on the video topic what do you think of playing other games that can gain you more views or subs? I presume you mean a newer game? Clash of Clans is nearly 10 years old, but Clash of Clans is where my passion lies and it's where I can bring you the best content. If I were to try and create videos on a different game that I didn't enjoy as much, then the content wouldn't be as good and ultimately people probably wouldn't enjoy and watch it as much. So really it's about following your passion and that's why I bring the Clash videos. 
Jackson over on my Twitter page asks, what is your favorite town hall level and why? Jackson, firstly, thank you so much for the ongoing support. My favorite town hall level is always the top one because there's the most content available. So currently town hall 14. After that, I would say either town hall eight or nine. I think town hall eight is when strategy starts to become a lot more in depth within the game. But town hall nine was for the longest time the heart of the competitive community. What is your all-time favorite attack strategy and how do you deal with burnout when it comes to Clash for many years? My favorite attack strategy has been for a number of years, the Queen Charge Lava Loon. I think it's so succinct and surgical of an attack. I love to watch the pros using that. In terms of burnout, I create content, which for me really does help. But I think for the general player base, I would recommend switching up what you do. So maybe you trophy push for a little bit. Maybe you then focus a little bit more on war. Start a secondary account even. Just mixing up the play style in what it is you're doing in the game. I think can help. Since you're from the UK, do you watch football and which club do you support? I support Sunderland, so currently I don't watch that much football. Why or how did you choose the iconic intro of yours? Were you aware you were rapping or singing? So a little bit of background history, my previous intro, I'll have it for you right here actually. Let me know if any of you remember that intro, but I felt it was a little bit too long and it wasn't as upbeat as I wanted. So I had the same animator create the new intro, which was very quick, snappy, to the point, had that upbeat feeling and positivity I try and bring in the videos. In terms of the singing with my intro, as you go back through the videos, I never used to do that. It's something that kind of just fell into place and felt right as we did it and everyone enjoys it i think it works great so that's about it did you ever feel like quitting youtube or clash i've never felt like quitting youtube i love making content connecting with all of you in terms of clash i've never felt like quitting but there was a stage where i wasn't as connected with the game i was a maxed town hall 10 town hall 11 had been out around about six or seven months and I stayed Town Hall 10 due to the competitiveness of our clan. So I had nothing to upgrade. I was literally just doing my war attacks and it got to the stage where I said to my clan mates, I am going to have to upgrade my Town Hall. If it means I need to leave the clan, so be it, but I had to get more content in order to keep enjoying the game. What inspired you to do content with high quality and do you ever get tired of making these? I'm someone that always puts everything into what I do. So I've always tried to bring videos with the best quality. When I was working full time and creating videos, there's only so many hours in the day. So ultimately the videos, in my opinion, were not as good as they are now because I can put more time into the videos. Generally speaking, the more time and effort you put into something, the better results you're going to get out of it. So that's kind of where I've always been in terms of quality. And I always try and up the bar in order to improve myself. It can be hard. It can be a grind, particularly when you've put so many hours into a video and it doesn't quite resonate with you guys in how I thought it might have. But it, if anything, just makes me reevaluate what I did in that video and the content that I brought and how I can make it even better so that you guys will enjoy it. Another Clash tip question. I like this one. In a video, about the Electro Dragons, you mentioned you want the buildings one tile apart rather than compact. Why exactly is this? The Electro Dragons chain through the same amount of buildings if they are clumped together or one tile apart. So when they are a tile apart, you can actually outrange defenses, in some cases, even an air defense. So there's less defensive DPS in that area. Whilst the dragons still work with buildings that are clumped together, it's better when they are slightly apart because you're reducing the DPS. Did you ever lose a battle after the release of Town Hall 14? I guess it depends on what you mean by lose. I certainly have not three-starred every attack. In fact, the last video on my channel 
was not a three star spoiler alert but if you mean zero star i don't think i've ever zero starred at town hall 14 i certainly have in my clash journey look everybody fails attacks from time to time it happens it's how you learn from those that are going to make you a better player how did you convince your parents for a gaming career and your best coc funny moment in terms of when i started youtube I wasn't living with my parents. I had gained my degrees. I was working full time. YouTube was a hobby. Whilst it can be a career, and I'm not saying don't treat it like a business, I think you should have an education because it gives you core skills, skills that I have used to build my channel and my business, but also you've got something to fall back on. YouTube is tough. A little bit of history here for you. I started my channel in July of 2015, and it took me two months to gain 100 subscribers and almost a year to gain 1,000 subscribers. This is typical of YouTube though, because as you are building your skill set, you are improving in your camera presence, your video editing, your storytelling, whatever it might be, you can then start to see the trajectory going up over. Kind of took another year for me to get to 10,000 subscribers. So basically what I'm seeing here is everybody starts at zero and just getting started and taking action is how you can set out on this journey if you really want to. Funniest Clash of Clans moment. I was asked by Darian, the community manager, to take part in a Clash of Clans developer video, to which I said, yes, I'm game, do what you want. Once I arrived on set, he gave me this to wear, the party warden outfit, and also this. How do I look? Mr. 008 Gaming asks, what is your favorite moment in your YouTube career? I would say the friendships that I've built, people I've met in real life, and also connecting with all of you and the community that we've been able to build here. He also asks, what advice do you have for other content creators who are trying to grow their channels? I've just shown how long it took me to grow through those initial stages. And I think if you ask any content creator, most of them have gone through that same thing. So patience is important, but persistence, being able to continually work through and improve your skill set, actually setting goals. What is it you are going to work on to try and develop yourself because that will ricochet into your content in order to improve it. Ultimately, at the heart of it, you also have to love and enjoy what it is that you do. Miko asks, what is your least used troop in the game? I'm going to say the goblin, the regular goblin, because even when I farm, I tend to use different strategies and it's rare I use the goblin for war. What kind of troop or super troop would you like to see in the future? In terms of super troops, there was an idea on the Clash of Clans Reddit whereby a ground troop could have an air version as the super troop or vice versa. I think that's really cool and I would love to see it. In terms of regular troops, I like when they have unique mechanics, such as when we had the Headhunter released to target heroes. And I like that idea of having a troop that is specific to a building. I would actually like to see something like the Bandit, where I could toggle which building it actually attacked. But I appreciate that's probably too complex. So maybe a troop that would target a specific building because I feel it gives you more options. On average, how much do you spend on Clash in a month? I'm not sure if this means time or money, so I will answer both. In terms of time, I don't actually play Clash too much because I'm creating specific content for it in terms of freely playing the game, maybe one hour per day. In terms of money, it's only if there's any good value special offers and the gold pass. On average across the year, maybe $100 a month with code judo. Do you have any pets? No, not currently. Do you speak any other languages? No, unfortunately, I only speak English. I would love to be able to speak a different language, but ultimately I don't have the time to learn. Have you ever tried any dangerous activities? Uh, paragliding, bungee jumping. I wouldn't necessarily clash them, class them as dangerous, but I have bungee jumped before. I used to do a lot of adrenaline style activities actually. Me and my friend, we had motorbikes. We would choose whatever we wanted to do, ride to the activity and then go for it. My favorite though was what's known as flyboarding. It is a water fueled jetpack powered by a jet ski 
anybody has the opportunity, I would highly recommend it. Do you play any other Supercell games and will you reveal them? I play Clash Royale, Brawl Stars and now Clash Quest, although a lot more casually than Clash of Clans. I don't have any specific plans to bring them to the channel, I did bring a Clash Quest video not that long ago, and I've got my eyes on the new Clash games in development, but right now my main focus is Clash of Clans. What benefits did you get from Supercell Creator? As part of the Supercell Creator program, you have my code code judo it works not just in clash of clans but across all supercell games we also have the ability to add videos in game and also early access to sneak peeks for update content and really anybody can apply for the supercell creator program there's different tiers that you level up and as you level up you unlock new perks so I will have the link to that site in the description in case any of you are aspiring content creators and wish to sign up, but I would highly recommend that you do so. Before I answer the last question, I did promise you a bit of a studio tour, so let's talk you through it. It's a relatively small room, so there's not a huge amount to explain. This is where I sit and record all of my videos. You get to see me via my camera, which is the Sony A6400. I have my GoXLR mixer and Shure SM7B to capture the best possible audio. And also my capture card, the Elgato HD60S, captures the iPad, sends it to the computer. I have a triple monitor set up. The one on the left is my primary monitor. That's where I edit videos. Then the ones on the right are for social media and comments. I also have my little subscribe account so we can keep an eye on things. Charging towards 1 million. Thank you again, my friends. This is the backdrop, which you have all grown to love. And a recent addition to the studio is my standing desk. This is because I now cast the world championships from home. This allows me to put full energy into the commentary, which is what it deserves. Granted, my cable management could be a little bit better, but that is the studio. That's where I record the videos for you each and every day. If you don't mind personal questions, how did you become friends with Beak? How does Beaker do this? I can barely see what I'm doing. I met Beaker in Finland alongside a lot of other Supercell creators, and honestly, we became good friends. And that's one thing that YouTube has opened the doors up for me to create friendships, which is ultimately the best part of all of this, being able to make a connection and build a community with all of you. And I cannot thank you enough. 700,000 subscribers is purely mind blowing. Hopefully this video has given you insight to me into what it takes with content creation and sparked your passion for anyone that is wanting to go down that route and ultimately helped you see the importance of positivity and friendship. Go out and make the world a better place, my friends. If you are interested in that video where I talked about tips for every town hall level, I have it linked on your screen alongside that subscribe button. Thank you again. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.